If you put MVP Russ in a prime shack in a time machine and brought them back to 1961, they would both lose the MVP race to someone who didn't even average 20 points a game. The 1961-62 season was insane. We had Oscar Robinson, the first player to average a triple-double and record the most triple-doubles in a single season, a record that nobody would come close to for almost half a century. Will Chamberlain looked like a man amongst boys, averaging literally 50 points a game and playing every single second of basketball in that season. Oh yeah, this was also the year he dropped 100. But what's crazy is that neither of these guys were the MVP, losing out to the one, the only, Bill Russell. He may not have had the flashiest stats, but was the leader and the heart and soul of a Boston Celtics team that dominated for most of the decade. What do you think? Who should have won that year?